Hi everyone, my name is Flavia and today I'm starting out a video series presenting case studies from the basic tutorial on simulation of microgrids control using MATLAB and Simulink, which I developed together with Professor Miguel Castilla and Professor Benedito Bonato in the Power Electronics and Control Systems Research Group at UPC, the Polytechnic University of Catalonia. The videos are going to present four case studies that we simulated with different control techniques applied to microgrids on particular operating modes, as grid connected and island mode. The goal of this series is to cover a step-by-step -step overview of the simulation of each case study, investigating their performance. And also during the videos, I will outline some basic concepts of microgrids operating modes and control methods, but I won't present details on the design of the microgrid parameters. A complete review of microgrid definitions and the parameters designed for the simulations are all covered on the writing tutorial. The first and the second case studies are applied in a grid-connected operating mode, in which the utility is responsible to define the network feeders as voltage amplitude, frequency and phase that are all followed by the converters on the grid that are controlled as network feeding. Network feeding converters are configured to operate equivalent as a current source, acting permanently synchronized with the main grid. In this tutorial, the configuration of these two case studies are based on network feeding, local load, and the main grid. In the first case, we control the active and reactive power imported and exported from and to the main grid by specifying the power values into the converter control system. And in the second case, a DC link and an output voltage control are added, and the active and reactive power values are generated from these voltage control approaches. The third and fourth case studies are applied in an island operating mode, in which the microgrid is not connected to the power utility grid, and in this condition, the network feeders are supplied by the converters on the grid that are controlled as a network forming. Network forming converters are configured to operate equivalently as voltage source, and they are synchronized with the other active network former converters. In this tutorial, the configuration of these case studies are based on network forming converter, local and common load. The purpose of the third case is implementing a primary control loop based on the droop control method, which adjusts the frequency and the voltage values with respect to the active and reactive power signals, respectively. And finally, for the fourth case, a centralized secondary control is applied to restore the voltage and the frequency deviations caused by the droop-based primary control implemented in the third case. All simulations will evaluate different operational scenarios, and each case will be covered video by video, that are going to be analyzed progressively from basic scenarios, adding new features to more complex simulations. I look forward to have you all along for the next videos. Thank you.